Hey family, Ramon Preston here, founder and CEO of Ramon Preston Enterprises, and my focus is clear, to provide strategies and solutions that are simple and successful, especially when it comes to the decisions that you and other everyday people like myself have to make in real estate investing and wealth building. Now, for the past few weeks, uh, I've been preaching a message series, of course, in my church uh, entitled Back to Church, Back to Church. Now, before you get thrown off by the word church, I want you to use the word church interchangeably and actually replace it with whatever the word is that you want to focus your attention on for the remainder of this year. So whether it's business, whether it's marriage, whether it's health, whether it's finances, whether it's your nonprofit, perhaps your church or your organization, I want you to understand the importance of this idea that I'm referring to as back to church. Because when you think back to church, back to business, or whatever it is you're focusing your attention on, I want you to focus in on the idea of correction as opposed to direction. So when I say going back to church or back to business or back to finances or back to health or back to whatever it is, I'm not referring to direction as much as I am correction. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that, because when you only think about direction, then it kind of suggests that you got to go back to the point or the place where you fell off or you made a crazy decision. That's directional. I want to focus my attention on the correction of going back. What can I do different in that particular area of my life so that I can see positive change and transformation? And so I want to give you three things that you need to think about when it comes to going back, not directionally, but correctionally. So I want you to write these three things down. Number one, you have to reset this is how you go back, not in direction, but in correction. You have to reset. I'll get back to that in a minute. Number two, you have to realign. You have to realign. And number three, you have to reposition. You have to reposition. Those are the three things that you can do to go back to business, back to church, back to health, back to financial freedom, back to a healthy marriage, whatever it is and whatever area it is that you want to see, not direction, but you want to see correction in, those are the three things that you have to implement in that area or in those areas, especially for those of you who are believers in business. In other words, you are ministers in the marketplace. You understand that there's a spiritual a social and an economic implication to what it is you believe God has called you to do in business. Number one, you have to reset. Number two, you have to realign. And number three, you have to reposition. Now, number one, reset. All of us have devices in our house that require a certain amount of power, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your television, whether it's uh, your coffee maker, uh, you have to have a certain uh, amount of power in order for those devices to function, okay? But in all of our homes or facilities, we have receptacles. The modern receptacles have two important buttons on it. Number one, they have a test button just so that you can make sure the power source is providing what you need for your device to work. The second button is very critical. It is the reset button. Because whenever there's a disconnect of power between the source and the, and the device, the reset button pops out. And in order for it to function effectively, you have to push it back in. In, order, in, a, in other words, you have to reset. That's what getting back to business, church, health, financial freedom, whatever it is, that's what it's about. It's about resetting. You got to filter your mind and flush your mind out of all the bad information and data that you obtained, watch this, through a process of learning in that particular area. You ain't got to keep going back to the point or to the place that you fell off and made the mistake, but you have to reset. You have to filter your mind and flush your mind of all the bad information and data you receive in the process 
of getting the, 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 the right information so you can make the correction. Number two, you have to realign. You got to start getting around people who are pointing towards where you're headed. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. If you're the smartest person at the table, you're at the wrong table. You got to get around people or align yourself with people in places that are doing things based on where you want to go, not based on where you've been. And number three, you have to reposition. That means you have to allow yourself to find a better position in church, in business, in community, in family. There is something better that you can be doing now that you're a better version of yourself. So if you have reset your mind, if you have realigned your life, you can reposition yourself in that area to see positive progression. And that's the idea of getting back to church, back to business, back to success.